guys. Hey, like I said, it's been a doozy of a day, but I was hooked up to the house internet. Now I'm on space internet. And so hopefully that will work a little bit better. I'm gonna get my tablet set up so I can see y'all's comments. How are you guys doing? <laughs> hey, Jenny Jacks. Hey, Margaret. Hey, Jennifer. Hey, Tanya. I am running horribly, horribly late. Is that my phone making noise? No, cool. <sighs> Give me just a sec. <sighs> so, <laughs> I don't even know where to begin, but we're here, and that's awesome. We survived, at least this far. Hey, Darla, how's it going? Do you have your sound going, honey? You do. Oh, on my computer. Oh, thanks, honey. <laughs> I'm in the kitchen cooking you're on my cell phone hey Mary Hart hey Stephanie so most immediately in the past five minutes I have eaten a dinner that Randy saved because I ruined the first dinner that I was trying to cook at the last moment's notice so he went to bronze and got his chicken strips choo choo brought in the groceries that got delivered that I forgot that I ordered last night um but I'm really glad I didn't double buy milk or something weird like that uh I don't know, like a bunch of other things. Like I was not ready to get the live stream. It was mostly, it's, it doesn't sound like a whole lot, but it felt like a whole lot. Mostly ruining dinner was a huge, like, way to waste two pounds of chicken, Vaughn. Oh my God. <laughs> hey, Jenny Jacks. Hey, Diane. Hey, Anita. You were on time, but I was not. Michelle says, I'm in Hawaii currently. We've lived here for six years. They're packing us. Ooh, Michelle. <laughs> hey, Jean. Are we having an after party tonight? We sure as heck are. So, I still need to get my tablet set up. Let me get it to where, because we are going to go ahead and get started with some crafting today. I have a couple of projects lined up, but I'm just, I'm exhausted. We I got up at like 6.30 and we've been going, this is the first time that I've like, will have gotten to have sat down for more than maybe five or ten minutes um, all day, which is a person who sits on my butt as much as possible. That's, it's not cool, you guys. <laughs> Do I just click on that? Is that how this works? There we go. Hey Wanda in Ohio. Sherry says just started playing with resin a couple of months ago. Right on! I'm actually hoping to be able to do some resin tonight with you guys. So that's excellent. Still unable to get to the members page. Hmm. I will prioritize figuring that out, uh, pro, after this stream, before the after party. And so it's, I think the app that we use to, like, sync everything isn't working. Because you're not the only one who's had that problem, pro. So I'm, like, kind of freaking out a little bit. Um, how do I do this? There we go. Let me get the tripod set up. Which this, by the way, is the tripod that I've been using and is my favorite setup for just having some place to clamp over your work surface and then it's just one of those phone holder thingies and it looks at what we do. So, speaking of that, I'm going to take this, turn it around like that, put it into the thingy. Hey, Jill, how's it going? No, baby, just don't want anyone to miss the after party. Right on. That is awesome. And we appreciate you guys so much. Uh, Y'all are always so patient with me. And I appreciate that more than anything, because, man, I test my own patience for sure. So, considering it's been such a hectic day that I can't even really talk about because it's a top-secret project for the Monster Vlog that, <laughs> like, I'm very excited about, but... I can't give anything away. But I did a whole lot of stuff today that was outside of my usual crafty comfort zone. So. <laughs> hey, patio. That's right. It was actually, you're almost more on time than what I've been. And then, oh, I'm going to have to mess about the tripod a little bit more, you guys. Ooh, way to make everybody seasick, probably. There we go. 
So today I am working with one of our, um, these are two of the seven pieces from our small mandala kit that we sell on our website. Sorry, I'm trying to get the, I wish it gave me a little bit more control over how the zoom is. I'm still figuring out this new phone. Oof. Um, going to turn off chat and watch right on Margaret. Um, as I just zoom in and zoom out. <laughs> but these are two of the seven pieces that come in that kit. And I'm using them because I had printed an extra of the back piece. And then this one here is actually broken in two spots. And I went through and I used these wood finish markers, which are quite stinky, by the way, um, to go on the top layer and do some nice... Um, staining. I have a couple other boxes that I'd like to do some stuff with. I'm going to be doing hopefully some, uh, this is, what is this? Neutral Sky Blue Glow Powder. So I'd like to get a dot mandala done on this and then like let it dry hopefully it'll be dry before the end of the stream and then we can mix up and pour some resin onto here I think that would be super duper ultra cool now to make the dot mandala dry hopefully a little bit faster I am going to be using one of these marker pens for the first layer and then adding in maybe some decorative dots on top of that and I'm gonna fool about with the camera again I'm so sorry guys not sorry enough to stop and get my life together, obviously, but I still appreciate you. Okay, so maybe if we can come in from this angle, y'all will be able to see all the dots. Because I need, I need crafting for, like, zen today. Like, so hard. Yeah, okay, so that's just going to be the angle that we're at. <laughs> oh well thanks Anita but I was watching some folks on YouTube while I was ruining dinner um like the chicken came out like it was in my pressure cooker and it was supposed to be like it's called f like ninja foodie crack chicken this so it's like a ranch bacon chicken ranch thing it came out like soup and I thought I measured everything correctly but I did not apparently at all um measure it correctly so that was very upsetting but while i was ruining dinner i was watching some tutorials as as you do um on how to do dot mandalas and i'm just gonna kind of make it up as i go was the consensus i came to i'm gonna try really hard to not be putting my head in front of the tripod and I do have y'all's comments up here so that I can see if you guys have any questions or anything. So please do feel free to like chat and stuff. So I guess this isn't like a proper dot mandala because I'm doing it with a marker pen instead of like the actual dot tools. But I will be going through and doing a layer with the actual dot tools after we get this base down. Good chicken lines to pot today. Right on. I hope it went better than what mine did. And then like all I had defrosted was chicken thighs. And Randy's so sweet but like he hates chicken thighs. He hates them so much. So he was more than willing whenever I had turned it to soup to just go get chicken strips from broth. And then I don't even know how I ruined instant mashed potatoes, but they just taste like, I don't know, I'm gonna put like soap in them or something. Hey Randy! I think he's putting the leftovers away for me. Berry, because I, I think I just, I could add more chicken to it maybe, and like some thickener. Like thicken it, make a roux and thicken it up a little bit. I mean I'll salvage it, but not in the, not before the live stream, that's for sure. Hey Randy! Oh crap, now I forget what I was going to ask you. Oh, did you have any of those mashed potatoes? Uh, what? Did you have any of the mashed potatoes? 
Uh, you should try them and let me know. I, I don't think I put soap or anything weird in them, but it really tastes like it. Well, fruit, fruit brushers really taste like Tide Pops. Randy, no, no, those were actually, Randy, those were actually laundry pods. Oh, I never, I never buy fruit gushers. <laughs> no, he'll be, he'll be fine. He's eaten worse than Tide Pods before. <sighs> oh no, Pro, he says I don't have any food for tonight. Poor Pro Pool. Ah, Heather says I got my craft kit today. Amazing selection of calves this month. Love the variety of colors and shapes. Also love opening the box and smelling the wood cuts. Oh, Heather, I'm so glad you like it. Yeah, I'm really hoping that that y'all will be enjoying the, um, we have a lot more, like we've started putting in a lot more calves and we were able to... I don't know, just really up our game a little bit. And I'm excited about that. So I'm kind of just going through and establishing the dots. Am I even in frame? Okay, kinda. <laughs> but do I? Oh, super adorable. Hey, Mew Mews. I am trying to get my craft design on by just working on like a dot mandala. <gasps> that beautiful man. I hear the squirting noise of the Keurig. Just the gurgling squirt of a good cup of coffee. Break out the mango from oh pro mango rum is super yummy. We should make daiquiris sometime. Like I haven't had a daiquiri all like actually, I I've had like all summer. I had like one um, blue moon. Is there anything leave an odd taste uh, aftertaste? Right? Uh, is it because it's the garlic? I don't know. Thank you. Hey. Mm, I love you. Thank you for the coffee, honey. <laughs> oh, wow. She's a puppy. He is 10 months old two days ago. Oh, my gosh. That can be a challenging but enjoyable time of puppyhood. Hmm. Yeah, because I'm kind of... I, I'm trying to establish the first phase of the design and then I actually want to try has anybody uh, done a dot mandala with this halo paint because I'm going to try it oh a border collar Aussie is that an uh, Aussie is that an Australian Shepherd how do I even get it to my pen isn't working There we go. Yeah, I think on these guys I'm just gonna... Do some little dots around the edge like that. Doing dots, dot, dot, dots. Dot, dot, dots. Name is Renny, named him after Gambit from X Men. Oh, right on. <laughs> hey, Randy Vaughn. That's my boyfriend. <laughs> Of like 17 years, but still. Oh, wow. Drama says Bally's legs are almost healed. They went and did her spay on Tuesday. So two more weeks of crate rest. Ooh. Hey, Yvonne Lanza. I'm doing pretty good today. How are you doing? Doing much better now that I am here crafting. Making messes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do, do, do. 
So this shouldn't take too long, right? Like, how long do dot mandalas usually take? I don't have an accurate perception of this because all of the videos that I watched today were like, uh, time lapse or heavily edited. I bet this is a fun sort of thing to like put on some, like, some, I don't know, Netflix or something in the background. Coco says, Jackson's mom and I spent 15 minutes this morning trying to figure out the secret project. Oh, really? What ideas are you guys having? I wonder if any of them were close. <laughs> ah! Do what, honey? I got something in the works, but you know about it, but we're not allowed to talk about it. I don't have the slightest clue what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> See, the trick is, I have so many projects going, and I tell Randy about all of them, that, but I don't tell him which one's top secret, because then he's like, I don't even have the first clue. But it's exhausting. It's what I worked on all day today, honey. That you yeah, help... Okay. You worked on a lot of stuff today. <laughs> That's true. That's very, very true. Like, I got another, like, basically bucket of tomatoes harvested, a bunch of TikTok footage shot. Um, just did a mess of stuff in the garden. That's not the secret project, though. The pros that have absolutely no idea. Ooh! Well, that's what it means. It's a good secret, <laughs> which I'm very excited about because I am genuinely terrible at keeping secrets. Mm -hmm. I'm loving these little dots, though. This this paint is very uh, not magnetic. Um, I gotta go to the restroom. I'll be right back.
<laughs> okay, I'm so sorry about that, you guys. I'm back. But yeah, I walked by and Randy was like, what's the secret? <laughs> oh no. Okay. Very cool. So what are y'all working on today? I'm really excited to get to like the actual painting part of this instead of just using a paint pen. Mm -hmm. Are Vaughn using metallic? Never. <laughs> hey Dashend, I am working on my very first dot mandala which I'm doing a first layer in not, I guess, actual proper dot mandala forms because I'm using a paint pen. But really, it's art. There's no wrong way to do this, right? But I'm fixing... Yeah, I'm on like my last petal now to go through and start using the actual dot tools, which that's the part that I'm like, because I've never done that before. Very exciting. Cool beans. So that's how that's looking. Um, there's the cup. Heather says, I just signed up for two vendor events this afternoon, one next weekend and one the following weekend. I need to see what I actually still have an inventory and what I need to make up. Ooh, that's, <laughs> that'll keep you busy for sure. Okay. Crap, where are my dog tools? <laughs> Here they are. Okay. So I definitely have some, like, wee bitty. Oh, I'm gonna have some sippy slurps with this coffee. Oh, right on. Hey, Gary. Have you really been waiting for dots? <laughs> right on. Bernisa is still making the Millennium Falcon. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Tree says, I just finished up the Lapis Lazuli bracelet. Ooh, Lapis is so pretty. <laughs> Judy says, it's a secret project. <laughs> I gotta respect that, truly, because, like, <laughs> but also, it's like, but I want, but I want to know. <laughs> hey, Jennifer. Okay, how do I go about doing this? Oh, you're trying to exude more positivity. Right on. And I was like, what a crazy random happenstance. That is exactly what we are working on today. Okay. Whew, I'm so nervous. Okay, here's the first. Mm -hmm, first layers of dots. How much How much goo do you put, or paint rather, how much paint do you put on the thing, everybody? Beep. Hmm, maybe more paint than that. Beep. Ooh. Beep. Ooh. Beep. Thanks, Wandy. <laughs> Randy goes, about a dot's worth. It's amazing. Beep. Beep. Oh, that's not on center. Ah! Oh no! Smearing it with my finger didn't work the way I wanted. No! Vaughn, why are you like this? Maybe if I lick it. Mm. Well, I mean, that didn't not work. Let's put more paint on this. <laughs> okay, guys, how do you clean up whenever you make a mess with making dot mandalas? <laughs> Send help. Boop. Oh, that one's not on center either. Maybe we just like that. Oh, I can like make a little circle. Make the dot bigger. <laughs> well, I'm glad you like them, Tamara. <laughs> yeah, because I definitely want that first dot to be like a little bit more, wee bitty bit more substantial. I'm going to keep working in the other direction because that's still wet. Just fill the center. Hmm. Do, 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 do. Okay, I'm addicted. This is amazing. Instant gratification every time I do a dot. Boop. 
<clears throat> Boop. Yeah, yeah. Boop. Oh, we're so close to being done with this first layer. <laughs> Baby wipes right on. Wet wipes. Okay. Bob Ross in the house. Let's be some birds. <laughs> I hope this one's dry enough because I'm putting paint on it. Do what, love? Just a grumpy little bird. A grumpy little bird. I thought you said a creepy little bird, and I was like, well, I, I, that's fair. Oh. Kelly says, I have that cute acrylic paint I won in that crap box months ago. Sounds like an awesome idea for the mandalas I got. Oh, yes. We're actually working on, on putting together a whole bunch of like super mega crap boxes with like yarn and more paints and like leather scraps, like really big stuff that I can't fit into our normal crap boxes. This is the best coffee in the whole wide world that I've had all day. <laughs> Kelly says no more yarn, right? Okay. Oh, how do I do this? Because I was going to try doing the, where we go like, I'm going to zoom in. Paint be like, <laughs> where's in frame? Okay. So, I'm holding it down. I'm going to go like, boop, boop. <gasps> it worked. Ah, look at that. It actually did the, did the thing. <laughs> eee. Okay, I'm going to do them all in one direction first. So, one. Two, three, four. Ooh. Boop. And one, two, three, four. Ah! That was not very good spacing, but that's fine. One, two, three, four. <laughs> eee! Y'all! We're doing nuts, yo. Do, 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 do. Boop, 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 do, do. Ready for the next one. Beep, two, three, four. Okay, I am going to actually move, try to move the camera in a little bit closer. So please pardon me for just a minute. I just got done gone dotty. I sure have. That's what it feels like. But I'm hoping that having the camera down a little... Sorry, that's, that's the tripod, not me, I promise. <laughs> okay, so that might be slightly better resolution for y'all. I've never used this paint for not like polymer clay or you know getting that like I've never just painted with it so I'm really excited to see how it like paints down this is the coolest stuff y'all <laughs> party on right on I'm glad that's better, Melissa. <laughs> Sounds like you need an HDMI cord, Kelly. That's what Randy used to hook my laptop up to a TV screen. So I tell you what, there's nothing quite like playing Cheese Farm Simulator on a big screen. Ah, that bothers me. That one's off just a little bit. No. Oh, gosh, wow. Sorry, I've never made a dot mandala before. I know I've already said that, but it's get us close enough to boop our eyes. I don't think it can, like, does this have autofocus? I don't think this has autofocus. So it's just going to be blurry, but 
I'm really digging it, y'all. Hmm. Could be HDMI or DisplayPort. And that's where the the tech stuff loses me. Because <laughs> I'm like, okay, okay, wizards. I feel like I'm better at dotting in one direction than in the other. We'll figure it out. Also, I have paint building up on my little booper. Gotta clean that off. Like, for the longest time, I never cleaned my paintbrushes or anything while I was using them because I didn't want to waste any paint. And then I realized you get much better results when you just clean off your instrument and then carry on. Right, Jenny? It is Halo Blue Gold by, um, it's a Lumiere paint by Jacquard. It is. That's what it says on the Halo Blue Gold. And I'm like, if you'll say so. I'm loving it, though. I can't imagine playing cheese anything. <laughs> The first time we visited, my good friend um, from high school, like, she was going to college up in Wisconsin, and we went to go visit her, and we came home with, like, 20 pounds of cheese, and it lasted us maybe three weeks before we had eaten it all, so, like, our enthusiasm for cheese flourished whilst in Wisconsin. First time I had cheese curds, too, that was pretty cool. Do what, love? Our enthusiasm for cheese is frightening. Yeah. Randy says our enthusiasm for cheese is frightening. Mm. Can't hear Lumiere without thinking of Beauty and the Beast, right? Mm. Cheers, y'all. Thank you so much for joining me here today. I'm finally starting to chill out a little bit. Oh, was there an oops? I'm trying to just let it be what it is instead of, like, I don't want to get hung up on being, like, a perfectionist on it. And I think I'm going to bring the dots in towards the center here on the sides. And then maybe painting this part here. But I don't know, because I'd, I'd kind of like to get to the resin casting portion of this. Um, and then I have a couple more projects. Very first time. <laughs> what do you do, stripes? Mm, around the center? Yeah. Maybe, but I really want to do dots. I don't like that at all. Oh, no. <laughs> you know, I think I'm just going to paint this whole center part, though. Not the whole center part, but just, like, this part around here. No, I don't want to, because then it's going to crepe. I don't know what to do. Hmm... Oh, no. Well, it got the metallic all in there. Whoopsie. <laughs> oh, no. Well, maybe I can stain back over it. Well, it's kind of working. I think I'm going to let this dry before I disrupt it much further. Nope, I lied. I'm just going to keep going. I think maybe doing a dot just boop in the middle. 
Boop. Kind of just breaking it down a little further. Hey, comatose, how's it going? Boop. 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 There we go. Can you make zigzags to match the sun rays along the ring instead of dots? Ooh, possibly. I'm not going to lie, I'm greatly hoping to um, spark some creativity in y'all with these mandalas, because we've had a couple of folks purchase them and then be like, ah, well, I did a couple of things, but then, you know, I didn't, what to do ne don't, didn't know what to do next. So I'm like, let's find some ideas. And it just seems like the perfect, almost like having a, a stencil or a drawing guide for your own dot mandalas, instead of having a big blank canvas to work on. You have an actual bandala to work on. Oh no. Ooh, I like that, babe. I'll do that. Hey, Paige, how's it going? Before I do this, I'm going to put the cap back on her pink. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sip. Oh. Hmm. Wow, I had no idea they had USB-C ports that convert to HDMI. Then just coming through on Randy's suggestion to do some little gold dots in between. I think this would be so much fun to do on the more three-dimensional ones, where like one where we use all seven layers instead of um, just two, like how we have here. Though for casting resin, two I think is the minimum. Because you do kind of need a backing on there to keep the resin from just flowing out. So you could tape it. You just tape the back. There we go. Okay, so now it's resin time. Any ideas for the finished product? Is it just ornamental or would be, there be a job for it? Um, now this is a little bit large for a coaster, but smaller versions could be used as coasters because I am going to be filling it in with resin. Um, but this one in particular is ornamental, though I can also put like jar candles on it. I wouldn't do just a pillar candle because with it being wood, um, well, I, I don't know, to me if it burnt down enough, I imagine that would be a little bit of a fire hazard, um, but also uh, I don't want like the wax to like stain it or anything. I have a drawing for 2017 that I haven't finished. Some of the line work is done, but much of the coloring has not been completed. Mm, good news about art is it doesn't go bad. You can always revisit it. But mandalas are so, so much fun. Um, what am I looking for? Gloves. First things first. Let's use gloves. Now I'm going to have to be doing, and the reason I have multiple projects lined up is when I get resin on this, I'm not really going to be able to mess about with it um, until like tomorrow, just because it takes it a while. So let's see, I've got some, how fast does this stuff get cured? 
Oh my god, super tiny. Um, does it just say someplace big? No, okay. It's too blurry for me to read on the screen. Um, working time will decrease with warmer temperatures. Um, surface should be tack free in four to six hours. I'll use this resin. That should cure up pretty quick. I'm going to be using one of these mixing cups and reusing the same applicator. This will be like the fourth time I'll have used this one. Yeah, the tip's still clear. Now I am going to be working. This is acrylic paint. It's halo. Blue gold halo is the color. And it's Lumiere paint by Jacquard. So like, there's the label for you. Well, it's got, here's another one of the same kind, but in a different color that doesn't have a sticker on the label. So. <laughs> right on page. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is going to be going, this, this is technically part of the Top Secret Project. Okay, so I have a, just a separate work surface here. So I can move it off to the side to let it cure. And then we can move on to our next project, which may actually be either painting this box, designing an apothecary cabinet, um, or just doing a let's draw where you guys just tell me what to draw and I draw stuff. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Okay, measure in time. Let me get my fan going. So if y'all if y'all can hear that and it's bothersome, I'm sorry. They are pretty expensive comatose. Um, but little goes a long way and they're amazing okay I don't think I need a full two ounces that's some moons y'all I need stirring sticks fun get your head on straight girl now fortunately this stuff has an awesome working time so I don't have to like rush or anything I'm just pouring out one ounce, looking at it from the side. Ooh, ooh. Okay, we got an ounce. There we go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I've started, pro tip for those of y'all who are just getting in, I save um, the lids that come with these mixing cups to be what I set the bottles on because I'm so bad about like... It's getting the bottle messy. Like, I don't mean to, but here I am. Okay, that's a hair over now, so I'll go here. Do, 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 do. Did the first part, now we're adding in the second part. Looks perfect. Fantastic. Now I'm going to get this all mixed together before adding my pigment. I resonate so much with that, Gary. Hey, April! Must be bunnies or maybe midgets. What? <laughs> so I just plugged in this HDMI to my laptop to see what happens. <laughs> I'm like, because a stray black kitten appeared in my backyard. So oh no, Iris, did you feed it? Yeah, that's how we found Callie during a live stream, too. <laughs> and she's now sleeping in the upstairs hall batting at the ankles of anybody who walks by, getting plumper by the day. That's alright. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 
Oh, I didn't set a timer. Oh, speaking of which, in about 15 minutes, we're going to be doing a giveaway. If you would like to participate, be sure to go to this this past Monday's shop update and have left a comment, and that'll put your name in the hat to win one of our $10 cab boxes. Right, bro? <laughs> it's so overwhelming for sure. I just need something that is quick and easy, but is perceived as being awesome. Dude, do some dragon eyes. They meowed for three handfuls. I worried about giving them too much and sent to the town. Yeah, that's Ember, um, our eldest kitty, whenever we rescued her. Um, she would eat so much that she would, like, borf. Like, she'd just... And then she'd go right back to eating again, so we had to really regulate her on how much food we would give her. Um, and it, she's never really... Like, even now, she'll still binge <laughs> until <laughs> she borfs and then keep eating. <laughs> it's the Buffy musical episode thing. <laughs> right on. Remember that Callie came through a fence? Mm-hmm. Yep, that's the baby gate that we use um, to kind of close off a section of the porch so the dogs can't escape the front yard. <laughs> right on, bro. Mm -hmm. So, as you can see, I actually incorporate just a ton of bubbles. I'm very bad at mixing resin, but if I can do it, y'all can do it. April says, I just got a sticker from a new trailer that says my Patronus is a firefly. Ah, but not the bug, it's the ship. That's so cool. What a, what a cool mashup of fandoms. <laughs> but yeah, I don't worry so much about getting the bubbles incorporated. <laughs> Oh, Iris. I hope this black kitty is okay. Like, sometimes it can be tricky at first. Like, you don't know if, they, if they're in good health or if they're just hungry, you know? Okay, so now we get to add the fun stuff. The glow powder. What if I let it sit for ten minutes and bubbles dissipate? Mm -hmm, for sure. Hey, Danielle. It's good to see you. But yeah, I do try to get all my additives and like mixing and stuff done at the beginning. And I'm going to be super heavy handed with this glow powder. So that's like almost a full teaspoon for two ounces of resin. Um, but I want to get all of my mixing done here on the front end. That way, um, gosh, it almost looked like a dough for a second there. <laughs> Um, but that way all of the bubbles will start to escape. Like, I don't want to let it degas and then just incorporate more air. Okay, I'm actually going to go and stand on the porch and mix this for just a sec so it can be in the direct sunlight. Because I want to show you how vibrantly this is going to, um be glowing. Let me turn off the lights though. So there's one light. No. Thank you for checking though. No, it's just a two part epoxy. Check it. <laughs> like that is, let me move this. 
<laughs> that is so vibrant. <laughs> okay. So that's that glowing. Makes me super happy. Yeah, so just to just to build some hype for this project. So I want you all to be as excited about this as I am. <laughs> but yeah, straight up. Art and Glow does not fool around with their glow pigments, you guys. They are not kidding. Okay. Oh, well, I'm glad I noticed that my phone was about to fall out of the tripod into the resin. So I'm going to let this sit here for just a little bit. Jenny says, do it again. I don't know. I don't know if I can. Okay. Have to let it sit there for a minute. Oh, I'm so glad, Danielle. And so I'm going to describe to you guys a little bit what I did for this. Is I actually went through and used some of this bottle that's left over from doing our potion chest and just put it all over the back piece of uh, wood and then just smeared it around nice and even put the mandala on clamped it let it dry um i had tried <laughs> i was like well there's a bunch of glue on there i'll just put some powder on i tried applying the powder to the it didn't work out it's much better to just mix it into the resin um and then I used one of those stain markers to, well, stain the top mandala, which I think gives a really cool effect. I'm just going to use this little razor blade real quick to like... There we go. Oops. Um, but I wanted to make sure that there was good contact. I'm going to be filling all these little cells. Hey, Rhonda! <laughs> How's it going? It's going pretty good. We're making some art. What's up, baby? Potion master. <laughs> You're not strongest for my potions, Traveler. <laughs> potion Master, I'm going into battle and I require your strongest potions. <laughs> my potions are for the strongest warriors and you're clearly the weakest. You can't handle my potions, Traveler. Go elsewhere. <laughs> potion Master. <laughs> Sorry, that's probably only funny to Randy and I, but we really recommend wasting, like, what is it, like, how long is that video? Like, two minutes? Like two or three minutes of your life by watching just search like a potion master um and it's like some guy with a face filter on doing and it's epic and we love it um <laughs> hey elijah how's it going are these bubbles done yet okay i'm going to add for just a touch of color hey wandy should i go purple or green on this or blue I'm going to add one drop of alcohol ink. I don't know. Mermaid? Or stream? Which one do you think I'll do? I'll do this one because it's already in my hand. I'll do a poll! I don't think I can make a poll from my phone. Never mind. Polls are for. Polls are for the after parties okay so i'm using this is stream colored oh but dashin says purple now i want to do purple do one little drop of purple what's he say okay i'm stressing about catching up in school spent all day on it and i'm just struggling oh, then no. i then i mark it tomorrow but i got a video up today okay the three options randy are going to be mermaid purple or blue because it's from my public speaking class, so of course it was jewelry related. Ooh, right on, Elijah. <laughs> well, I think Randy's making a poll for me. It's in the cup. Uh, this is resin. There it 
did it pop up? I've never seen, I've never been on this end of the uh, pole before. How does it, what does it look like when there's a pole? Well, that's the thing is we actually have to, we have to just choose one. Huh. Hey, Wendy. I can't find the pole. Right on. Well, I hope they have a better, better luck with voting than I do. Yeah, that way, because whenever we ask questions in the chat, it's so hard to keep up with stuff. Yeah, I'm in live chat. Mermaid is winning. Right? I, I love it too, Danielle. What up? What are you touching? What's going on? See? Uh -huh. I'm in live chat. And then if I close out of that, I don't really know where... Maybe if I reopen it? Beep. Boop. Is it just for on desktops? I don't know. Oh, this is the mermaid color. It's like a tealish green. Ooh, what's ne what's next in line? Cause I can't even see the pole from here. Where do what are you? Nothing. Are you wearing my tie? You're so never. pretty in that color. <laughs> Oh, okay. It was fast. Right on. We'll do purple on the next one, guys. We're doing mermaid. <laughs> it's on a dark blue strip across the live chat for me. I click on the strip and it appears. Huh, right on. Well, I also have updates that I need to do on this tablet, so... Well, it showed me the poll was complete. Boop. <gasps> There's one. And you can see it popping all the bubbles and stuff. Like, that's my favorite, is just watching the magic happen. <laughs> Dashin's okie Because <laughs> I'm going to be doing, hopefully, like, like 12 of these. Oh, no, Yvonne. But yeah, it's amazing how intense one dot of color can be. And I'm just going to stir it in nice and easy. Kind of scrape that. And now, I don't know how to do this while still being in frame. Um... But we are just going to pour all of this into our applicator bottle. That's true, but I'm not good at aiming. And I don't want to get any on the tripod, and I have a fan going, which can blow the resin stream. So while I agree that's a really good strategy, those are all the reasons that I'm not doing it that way right this second. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to start in the center and start, like, just keep building my way out. Beep. Oh, it would really help, too, if my work surface were level. <laughs> that has just occurred to me. So let's see if I can't unangle this. Cram that in the, yep, shim that up. Oops, there we go. That should be at least a little more level. Ooh, this is such a nice, like, 
almost sea foam color. Oh, does it? I bet, but I don't really know if there's a whole lot I can do about that right this minute. Oh, no. Well, <laughs> I was going to try really hard to not get it onto the wood, and then I just blobbed some on there. So, guess who's just drizzling this on like a maniac? Like a maniac, maniac, do do. <laughs> you behave, Randy. So this is a lazy crafter's way. Okay, now I don't. Could you type and let folks know? There it is. There it is. Okay. I'm so sorry, you guys. I don't know what's up. Like, I'm not even, like, mime, and it just keeps dropping. But, um, the idea is, is to keep just squeegeeing the excess into the empty cells. Fortunately, the paint does seem to be dry. Okay, I'm gonna set that over there. And now I'm going to be a lot more careful about applying. Thank you guys so much for sticking around, like, through this really high quality, um, <laughs> not, uh, live stream. I'm having fun. I hope you guys are too. Which is so odd, because, like, last week, the live stream just completely crashed out, and then, not 30 minutes later, we did the, um, after party, the Craft Along Club exclusive after party, and, like, it was perfect. Like, it wasn't pixelated. It wasn't laggy. Like, it was, it was like we had good internet. And I did literally nothing different. Oh, Danielle, thank you so much. So I'm just coming through. Putting just a little bit down. And again, since I, I had intended to get it on the wood, because it will seal and hopefully magnify the cool effects of the um, metallic paint that we used. Oh no, it's squeezing out the side. Oh, this might be the end of this applicator bottle. There's always something. As soon as you think it's smooth sailing, there's always something. But I'm hoping this will kind of magnify the metallic paint that we used. And the little gold dots and stuff. <laughs> and so it looks all horrible right now, I'm sure. Oh yeah, that's oozing. <laughs> okay. So I'm just scraping. I'm kind of trying to bring it into the edge. I'd like to not exceed this top layer if I get to be picky, which we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Michael says this probably isn't the fun part, but it's satisfying when it's done. I actually, I love this part. It's probably not as fun for y'all to watch, but I love it. <laughs> 
it's the um anything that takes like a hundred percent of my focus and is like being a little tricky if it can like just consume my mind um so that i'm not worrying about a million other things while i'm doing um whatever it is that i'm doing then it has achieved the goal for me because it's i craft forget all of my other stresses Just when in doubt, craft it out. So I'm trying to make sure that I don't exceed it. Like exceed the boundary of where I'd like the glow and everything to be. Also, I bet one of those syringes would be really effective at getting very, very controlled, like if you didn't want to get it on the wood. Um. Oh. oh, Danielle. Well, come on in. The water is fine. <laughs> But yeah, it's just, I don't know, with, it, this is supposed to be something fun. Worst case scenario, it'll be a complete and total disaster, but you'll still have had a good time. Is how I feel about it. You know, that's like the hope, I guess. Okay, I'm going to set that back in there. I'm actually going to come through and just cap off as much as I can these other little places. Um, because it's starting actually to get really thick on me. So I need to go ahead and get that set up before the resin starts being thick. That way the bubbles will rise out of it properly. And for those of y'all who are in our craft along club, we send out some little moons and mandalas and gears and things, and those are perfect for just little miniature versions of this. Hey, Randy. Yeah. Since the stream is being weird today, um, I'm not going to bring the phone in there for the game. Okay. What are your thoughts? Um, like, do you think it... The okay. That's a good idea. Okay, change of plans, you guys. We Because the stream's been wonky, we are shifting the giveaway to the very end. That way, if it gets all pixelated and horrible, um, at least it's not in the middle of the stream. <laughs> Now also, this is an excellent opportunity if you don't fill your cells up as much that you could use some little chip beads or broken beads or um, crystals or anything that you, uh-oh, I'm dripping resin, um, the cap's loose, I guess. Uh, anything that you want, you can kind of use resin as an adhesive to get it into the, um, into the rest of what we're doing. So let me... Okay. So now I'm going to actually pick this up. If that's probably not wise, but here we are. And I just want to scrape it off just as nice and quick as we can. Because again, I don't want it getting on the base. I want to leave this bottom edge clean. I love it. It almost looks like a milky jade color. Like, 
I don't know. Do y'all pick up on that at all? Like this, but to me, this looks a lot like a jade inlay. Um, this is Art and Glow Glow Powder. They are my favorite. Now, I do want to get my hands on some, like, what's it called? The Solar Pigments. Um, because those do seem to be just incredible. Um, but I've been using Art and Glow so much for so long that they, they feel like a sure thing. Like, if I get something from Art and Glow, I know it's going to be awesome. And whenever you're spending a pile of money someplace on a bunch of resin and glow powders, it's really nice to know that it's an absolute sure thing. Yep, just leveling this all off. And fortunately, the resin that I'm using is self-leveling. So between its surface tension and its own self-leveling tendencies, um, this should... We shouldn't have to worry about this overflowing or anything like that. Oh no, I got a little bit. I don't know if it's leaking there or if it's... If it just exceeded the edge. But coming through with a dull razor and just scraping off that excess. And I'm going to keep checking around the edge. Also, is this something that you guys would like for us to list in our shop? Because these are so much fun to make. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Solar color dust is crazy awesome. Right on, Kelly. Yes, the solar color change. How fast will the resin? Yeah, it's going to be about tomorrow. But it says in four to six hours, the surface won't be tacky anymore. This resin in particular, this is um, by Total, though. It's Maker Poxy. Um, this will start setting up much faster like oftentimes I can demold after like six hours speaking of which let us sorry I didn't mean to clap in your ear I'm gonna make a little glow crystal <laughs> so I've got a mold here as the wild von do and of course it occurs to me to do this after taking my gloves off but that's fine being real careful and I'm gonna scrape and then scrape just to get it up to the edge and then start encouraging the resin into the mold this is a mold that I had made actually from one of our um, Ron Coleman mine uh, crystals so I actually am going to be taking the cap off and set it here on this shop towel. That way as it starts to set up. And I'm going to set that off to the side. That way it can drain. And that way hopefully I can clean up the rest of the works, like the rest of the spout. And the rest of what's in here should just just come on out into the mold. <laughs> right on. Yes, Pro, I'm going to try to, uh, once I pop the bubbles, I need to get this poured out of here because you can see it's starting to really get, well, hopefully you can see, it's starting to really get viscous. So we are uh, approaching very rapidly the end of our pot time apparently but then I will take it outside if the sun's still out it is after we pop the bubbles really charge it up so we can see the glow gosh that's just so pretty I love that dark walnut and jade look of the uh because that was the color of stain that we used was dark walnut and then it was two ounces of resin about a teaspoon of glow powder in the neutral sky blue by art and glow and one single drop of stream which is a 
Ranger Alcohol Ink. The Jim Holtz. Is it Jim or Tim? Jim? I don't know. Um, the Ranger line of alcohol inks in the stream color. So there we are. I'm going to plug in my heat gun. I've heard that if you put it in the fridge for about an hour, it will slow down the curing, allowing the bubbles to come out. Ooh! Now that's an interesting idea. See, I've heard opposite strategies as well for like, um, you know, putting your resin on a, like, coffee warmer to heat it up and let the, it would release the, like, degas it, kind of. <laughs> so it depends on if you want a longer or a shorter pot time, I guess. Now with these ones, since it is going to come out pretty opaque looking, um, it was mermaid, but this one is stream. I just call it mermaid because it reminds me of mermaid. Um, <laughs> so getting the heat gun going until it's nice and warm. And then pop those bubbles. But yeah, since this is an opaque, like it's not going to be crystal clear regardless of the bubbles just because of the style of, you know, we put so much glow powder in it. So I really want to get to where y'all are able to see how those bubbles be popping. Sorry, this is really taking its time. Those bubbles are really holding on to the wood. Oh, you know, I should have sealed the wood first because it's probably releasing bubbles into the resin as it... Ah, bugger. Okay, well, that's fine. I don't mind it being a bit bubbly. I'll learn on this one and hopefully apply what I learned to next time. Okay, I just had an idea to do this instead of using wood for the back we could just put it on one of those like um, sticky sheets like clear it's like a big sheet of tape that you use for stuff on like a Cricut machine or something um, do all the same stuff that we just did but with it on that and then after it's cured peel the back off and we could use it make a glow-in-the-dark sun catcher that would be so cool <laughs> shaker table right oh renee says craft along is this different than the monthly kit i receive um this actually does it we really need to work on our terminology because i can really see how a lot of this whenever i'm like oh craft along a thon or craft along with vaughn um and then the craft along kit um the kits that we send out in our monthly subscription don't necessarily go hand in hand with any particular tutorial and what I'm doing right now isn't based off of any of our subscription kits. This is a kit that we sell on our website that is a small... Right? Me? Yeah. Yeah. But um, this is one of our um, small mandala kits that I'm using two of the seven slices out of. So it's I can see how it's very stumbly bumbly and I'm so sorry for all of the confusion that that generates it confuses us as well like between Randy and I so um <laughs> but um but this tactics like the not tactics techniques that are used here could be used on any of the wood cutouts that are you um sent out in the craft on kits well craft boxes I don't know we need to come up with a different name for them that is more accurate. 
So I really hope that that clarifies it for you, Renee. I'm so sorry for the confusion. But yep, just hitting it with the heat gun. Kind of slapping it on the table to see if that accomplishes anything. Okay. So now I'm going to try to turn the lights off without dipping my shirt in the resin. Because this should still glow. It won't glow as vibrantly as if we had put it outside, but it should still be pretty glowy. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> So yeah, that's a, and you can already see the crystal glowing as well. That is so cool. And it hasn't even been outside since we took like the main cup out there. Oh, that makes me so happy. <laughs> but yeah, the, um, the same techniques used on this mandala here could scale down to our craft along kits. And instead of having a solid wooden backing, you could use. I did. You're going to be real sore at me. <laughs> Emphasis on did. I've lost it. <laughs> Randy had given me his little like UV flashlight. <laughs> oh no. Right on, Kit. Yeah. Oh, that'd be so cool, Jenny. Oh, no. Hey, Mom said, do what you're good at, and confusion is what I'm good at. Oh, I feel that, Gary. <laughs> um, Can you charge it long enough to move it out of the way? How do you mean? Oh, okay. That was to Kelly. Good way to educate how to avoid problems. Yes, they are. Okay. And I want to, like, touch it and move it and mess about with it. Um. <sighs> right on. Oh, yeah, Elijah. We just haven't been doing any mail openings um, on the air. I really want to take it outside but now there's not a whole lot in this one hmm. well hmm. gosh I love how it came out okay so this is why I did this on a separate work surface so that I could take it over here and spill it. Um. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just setting this off to the side. There we go. Gonna let that sit a little bit. Now, for the next project, um, we could just paint a box because I'm really into that apparently lately. Or we could doing could start doing a like polymer clay sculpture on here I was thinking about doing a rose like a polymer clay rose oh no was it super durable pro Ooh. oh my gosh Elijah that'd be so cool relevel it thanks Danielle No spillage, that's fantastic. Oh no, we're still here, Jennifer. <laughs> Too much pool practice, right on. Oh no, left arm pro. <laughs> Mm. 
She's okay with me. I see her too. <laughs> hey, honey. What do you think I should do next? Or should I design the apothecary cabinet? Because, like, I'm torn very much between what I feel like people want me to do, which is probably just, like, shut up and wire wrap, or do what I want. <gasps> it was right there the whole time? He's a wizard. He's an absolutely wizard. Like, he's an absolute wizard, y'all. Like, I was sitting here looking around like, it's gone. <laughs> and it was, like, right there. I think it needs new batteries, though. I find my sense of smell. He finds my sense of smell. I believe it. Um... <laughs> <laughs> put the box in the laser pro I can't express to you how much I am frustrated with my glow forge because it's like even if we take the crumb tray out so much of what we work with like this one here too thick to go into the laser like it's a uh, so finicky about its focusing mm hmm but yeah, I was thinking about like sculpting a polymer clay rose or maybe like some, I don't know. I wanted to do a dragon eye. I mean, it's already like full of fumes and stuff in here. I may as well do a dragon eye. After all, why not? I should die. What color dragon eye should we do on top of this, you guys? Oh, that's a yes on the dragon eye. Hey, Wandy, will you put together another pole? Um, I was going to do a poll for what dragon eye color we should paint. Yeah. Now the thing is, is I don't think we'll actually be able to do, if we did the dragon eye today, we wouldn't necessarily be able to do the sculpting because the dragon eye itself wouldn't be dry, if that makes sense. Oh, goodness, Kit. Okay, I think we can only have four options on our um, pole. This is jank. You have to have it loose for it to shut all the way. That's so... What a bother. A saw on a dragon eye. Yeah, right, Elijah? What's up, love? Oh, did you put more batteries in it? <laughs> ah! <laughs> Do you want me to bring it back over here and show them again? I know. I'm going to be right back, you guys. I am going to set. Uh, I'm going to take it out into the sun. No. What? I mean, <laughs> I'll be. Uh, well, let me turn the lights off first. That way it's ready when I come in. Randy, are you making that poll about a dragon eye? No. Would you? What? What? Uh, I can't hear my job. <laughs> <laughs> that is your first mistake. You proved that you can put together tools. No, that's not true. Oh, yeah, you did the last one. Really? Oh, did you turn off the lights? Oh, for bringing that. Uh huh. I'll be right back here, buddy. Are y'all ready for this? Let me get this. Y'all, check that out. <laughs> this is so bright. What? Nothing. What? Look at your pole. Oh no. Would you do? No! You're not allowed to make poles! No 
job neither. <laughs> Randy's been the time, like reading like 4chan stuff and things, so I suddenly got very, very concerned that I put him in charge of making the poll. Um <sighs> Ooh, an octopus sculpture. That would be so cool. Learned I've learned nothing, honey. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thanks, J Max. Those compliments, Randy. He deserves a raise for sure. <laughs> but this is so cool, you guys. And I love it when stuff glows. Because looking at this, it, it makes you think that it would be glowing green. But seeing it glow blue is just super cool to me. <laughs> oh my gosh. It gives me aneurysms. <laughs> okay. Well, 96% voted for yes. <laughs> Solar dust for the glow in the dark and thermal color change in the hyper hollow. Right on. And that's, I do want to go to solar color dust to try out their thermer, th thermer, their thermer and hyper hollows. But I'm always going to keep art and glows, glow stuff in stock. J. Jax is who voted? Ooh, that'd be cool. Food farmer, yeah. <laughs> exactly, Dash and <laughs> Now, it's occurring to me, we have 15 minutes until the stream's over. We're doing the uh, craft along after party starting at 7.30. Um, and that is for our $1 and up craft along club members. Um, and then we will actually probably be, be doing something with the craft along kits, um, as well as we're going to be loading the kiln again. So what I'm going to do is this may actually end up being Sunday's tutorial. Cause quite frankly, I don't have any other content ready. Um, so, <clears throat> um, whatever color gets voted on today in the live stream will be the color that we do the eye in the tutorial so that's really really cool i think yes we will get you the link sent pro pool um if you could actually send us another email like if you could send us an actual email pro pool at back to creations at yahoo.com with the email address that you want to be sure that you're getting the notifications sent to We'll make sure that that's um, lined up. What color is arcane? Oh, Randy, what have you done? I, I can't even see the pole from where I'm at. Like, I don't even have... <laughs> what? Did you put arcane? What? Right, let's go yell at Randy. Gotta go beat the man with a hose again. Oh, look at this, Sam Dog. Hey, Sam Dog. I love you. Or in my freaking tripod, there it is. <gasps> Look at that cat in a chair. He's in there cackling. <laughs> Ouch. Ow. Oops. There we go. <laughs> You're in so much trouble. What have you done? What did you do? I've done nothing. Uh huh. I don't believe you for a second. It's your adorable little face of lies. Randy! <laughs> You said colors. No, oh my god. And then you said fire, and I'm like, Stop fire's it. not a color. It's Come an on. element. No, it's not letting me make a pole. What did you do? I ended it. Oh my goodness. Oh arcane my god. wins. Next next. Arcane is, wins. Well, what color is arcane? Purple. It's purple? Fire, ice, arcane. Do you think anybody in chat knew that? Absolutely. Really? Clearly, 37% of people did.
<laughs> Elijah said, I knew. <laughs> Okay, now we actually have... <laughs> for real, for real. For real, for real. <laughs> we actually have the pull up. I'm going to have to put Randy's hand in the table saw again. When you leave me to my device. <laughs> yeah, you're doing this just to spite me. I know you. And if you had said green, I would have put per poison. The thing is, is I did say green. You didn't, though. I did. I can't hear you in there. Yeah. Why do you think I'm having to wear the headset? That's a good point. I am assembling the giveaway prize, if I can uh, ask my Randy to be so kind. Let's go with... Oh, are you voting? Yes, I'm voting. <laughs> oh, I voted for the least likely again. Wait, what am I doing so kindly? Um. Pulling up the uh, random comment picker. That's over there on yours. Oh, is it? Okay. For the most part. What do you mean for the most part? <laughs> oh my <laughs> god, you make me so nervous. You're fired. <laughs> you are fired. How am I fired? Because. <laughs> <laughs> do what? <laughs> Excuse me, sir? <laughs> is there still some drink left? Oh, okay. Sasquatch. Whew. Okay. <laughs> Making my hair fall out. Um. So, I'm not going to strangle him to death. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, how do I get it to show me? Ooh, okay, yeah. Purple's winning. Is arcane. that arcane? <laughs> see, I don't even know what arcane means. You're not allowed to use stuff that I don't know what it means. They say, don't fire Randy. I can just fire him for a little bit. Like... <laughs> You fire me every time I spend too long in the bathroom. Yeah, that's fair. No more bathroom breaks. You're fired. <laughs> um, today we are giving away one of our craft along kits. This is, and again, we really need to, we need to figure out what to name these because this isn't a specific craft along kit. It doesn't have like a tutorial that it specifically goes along with. Um, but it is the same stuff that we use in all of our that air conditioner is like blowing me directly in the eyeballs so give me just a sec um but uh they are the same cabs and the same wood cuts that we use in all of our tutorials and guys this is our new ten dollar craft along like craft box yeah craft boxes so here you can see you get three of our handmade cabochons and this has our wood cuts in it. They're wrapped. But we used to just do two fused glass cabochons. But we actually had quite a few folks. Like, uh, well, like three, I think, ever. Uh, but to me, that's quite a few. Complain that we didn't give enough in our kits. And I understand that times are tight. And even though we are covered in shipping, and even though we do do the, you know, 20% off coupons and the digital download content and stuff. And I know that we were slacking on the uh, live streams for a bit, but we had a lot going on in our personal life. But we figured we added another cab. We do cover the shipping to get it to you so it, it really is just ten dollars for all of this which if you were to get it on our website this is like at least a fifteen dollar value and that's before you pay for shipping so is that accurate mm -hmm. so we're giving one of these away today in the same color schemes that we'll be sending out in our subscription kits on monday our craft boxes <laughs> So, I don't know how to get this to... You had it pulled up over here? Yeah, but... Okay, just a second, everybody. So, 
So if you haven't left your comment, it's getting to be too late. And filter duplicate users, get the comments. Okay. So now, can I tell you? Covert surface distresses me out. What? Well, it's covered in stuff, plus it's made of holes. So if I put anything the wrong way, it just falls through. Are y'all ready for the giveaway? Are we getting a drum roll? Sure. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> okay, click the button. <laughs> Pam Johns. She says, loving all the new tabs. Keep on crafting. So happy you're back. Congratulations, Pam. If you could send us an email to Back to Earth Creations at yahoo.com with where you would like for this to be shipped to, we will go ahead and get this off to you. Um, probably on Monday. Your gift box, which this will be in a box when we send it to you. <laughs> Just a bag, your craft bag. That doesn't sound as fun. I don't know. But uh, congratulations, Pam, and for everybody else, better luck next week. We will be having another giveaway. Um, we try to have them weekly unless something comes up. But um, on our Monday shop updates, if you leave comments on those, not during the live chat, during the premiere, but on the actual video after the fact, um, that puts your name in the hat to win a giveaway. So, whew, okay. <sighs> That's everything, I think. Did we ever figure out what color we were doing for the... Whole purple. Yep. We'll be doing a purple eye. Now that's not going to be in today's live stream because we have really 14 minutes. We can pick the purples. 14 minutes. It, no, it's 140. I looked at. I don't. What time is it? We have five it? minutes. We have five minutes. Ah! <laughs> I just scrolled way far back. It, oh my god, I'm so behind on comments. Okay, can you do an underwater scene with an octopus sometime? I would absolutely love that, comatose. <laughs> oh no, pro! Love the latest calves, especially the calves of decal. Right on, Rosalie. I really like them too. They keep being hit or miss for me, though. I really hope that I can get my firing schedule figured out. Need a diagram. Whoop, I missed something. Rock smashes scissors. I was drilling over that gorgeous peacock box. Ah, oh, right on, Polly. Me too. Like, I've been using it um, basically since I finished it up on Tuesday. And so I've been. The lamp is angry. Hey, lamp. What are you doing? Ow. Quit hitting me with your lamp shade. Ow. <laughs> See? Go to daddy. Go to daddy. There he goes. Okay. <laughs> he's hard of hearing when he's wearing his shade. Um, I can see what we're doing for dinner in our break before behind the scenes fun. Oh, actually we already had dinner. I don't that's an empty bag of Brahms. <laughs> that was our that was before this live stream because I ruined what I was cooking. <laughs> he's got allergies. Him and Sam both are having really bad allergies. And so to keep them from like chewing their butts off. We put lampshade. Oh, they're the. They're not actual lampshades. It's like a proper cone for like keeping a dog from licking their stitches, but it makes him, them. It keeps them from chewing themselves raw. Um, need to make our own with craft tools. But do y'all have any questions real quick before we go? Cause now would be the perfect time. He's such a good boy though. Just watching the dog. Huh? Hired. Hired. No, you're still fired right now, Randy. You're 110% like fired right now. You're in so much trouble. Uh, we're gonna end this stream and I'm going to just look at you accusingly for at least 30 seconds before I have to start doing other stuff. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> he doesn't even take me seriously. Like I try to fire his ass and he's like, yeah, I'm not really fired. And I'm like, <laughs> Um, how do I get to the after party? Elijah, what we will be doing is everybody who is in our craft along club, uh, $1 and up will get an email, um, sent to them, uh, and 
<clears throat> if you guys haven't been getting our emails, uh, send us an email and we will try to get that sorted. Um, and we will also be posting it to our members only stream page on our website um, under the Craft Along blog like or craft along club area announcer voice will randy survive to the subscriber stream tune in next time to find out oh i think so elijah how does it randy keeps track of all that stuff for me because it's it's a lot <laughs> to keep track of the disrespect right go my toes i'm like i'm a grown-up respect me randy and he's like no <laughs> there's no no <laughs> They make super soft donut rings. What? Oh, much more comfy. Right on. <laughs> okay, we're gonna let you guys go, and we will see you in the after party. And um, yeah, if y'all have any questions, just email us or leave it in the comment down below, and we'll do our best to help you out. Thank you guys so so much for hanging out with us, and we'll see y'all in a little bit. So, bye. Happy crafting. <laughs>